Welcome back to another episode of Inside XR Design. Today, I'm going to talk about Synapse, a PSVR 2 exclusive game from developer Endreams. But specifically, we're going to look at the game through the lens of a concept called embodiment. So what the hell is embodiment, and why am I boring you talking about it rather than just showing you all the cool shooting and explosions and smart design in the game? Well, it's going to help us understand why certain design decisions in Synapse are so effective. So stick with me here for just a minute. Embodiment is a term I use to describe the feeling of being physically present within a VR experience like you're actually standing in the world that's around you. And now your reasonable response is, but don't we already use the word immersion for that? Well, colloquially, people certainly do. But I wanna make an important distinction between immersion and embodiment. Immersion, for the purposes of our discussion, is when something has your complete attention. We all agree that a movie can be immersive, right? When the story or action is so engrossing, it's almost like nothing outside the theater even exists at that moment. But has even the most immersive movie you've ever seen made you think you were physically inside of the movie? Certainly not. And that's where embodiment comes in. For the sake of specificity, I'm defining immersion as being about attention. Embodiment is about your sense of physical presence and how it relates to the world around you. So I think it's important to recognize that all VR games get immersion for free. By literally taking over your vision and hearing, for the most part, they automatically have your full attention. You are immersed the second you put on a headset. But some VR games manage to push us one step further. They don't just have our attention. They make us feel like our body has been transported into the virtual world. Like you'd actually feel things in the game if you reached out and touched them. Okay, so immersion is about attention and embodiment is the feeling of actually being there. And let's be clear, embodiment isn't a binary thing. It's a spectrum. Some VR games are slightly embodying while others are very embodying. But what makes the difference? That's exactly what we're gonna talk about with Synapse. At first glance, Synapse might look like a pretty common VR shooter, but there's several really intentional design decisions that drive a strong sense of embodiment. The first I want to talk about is the cover system. Every VR shooter has cover, right? You can walk behind a wall and it'll block shots for you. But beyond that, the wall doesn't really physically relate to your actual body because you never actively engage with it. It's just a stationary object. But Synapse makes walls and other cover interactive by letting you grab it with your hand and pull your body in and out of cover in this really cool cover system. It feels really natural and works great for the gameplay. And because you're physically moving yourself in relation to the wall, instead of just strafing back and forth with a thumbstick, the wall starts to feel more real. Specifically, it feels more real because when you grab it and use it as an anchor from which to move, it's subconsciously becoming part of your proprioceptive model. And let's take a second here to explain proprioception because it's a term that comes up a lot when we're talking about tricking our bodies into thinking we're somewhere else. The clearest example I've ever seen of proprioception in action is in this clip. And listen, I never thought I'd be showing you a cat video in this series, but here we are, let's roll with it. Watch closely as the cat approaches the table. Without really thinking about it, it effortlessly moves its ear out of the way just at the right time. This is proprioception. It's your body's model of where it is in relation to the things around you. In order for the cat to know exactly when and where to move its ear to avoid the table without even looking at it, it has to have some innate sense of the space the table occupies. In the case of the cover system in Synapse, you intuitively understand that when I grab this thing and move my hand to the right, my body will move to the left. So rather than just being a thing you see, walls become something more than that. They become relevant to you in a more meaningful way because you can directly engage with them to influence the position of your body. In doing so, your mind starts to pay more attention to where the walls are in relation to your body. They start to feel more real. And by extension, your own body starts to feel more present in the simulation. You feel more embodied. And walls and synapse can actually be used for more than just cover. You can also use them to push magazines into your weapon. Now, backing away from embodiment for just a second, this is such a cool design detail. In episode four, I spent a long time talking about the realistic weapon model in Half-Life Alex. But Synapse is a run and gun game, so the developers took a totally different approach and landed on a reloading system that's fast paced, but still engaging. 
Instead of making players mess with inventory and chambering, the magazines in this game just pop out and float there. To reload, you just slide them back into the weapon. It might seem silly, but it works in the game's sci-fi context, and it reduces reloading complexity while maintaining much of the fun and game flow that comes with that mechanic. And now we're gonna see how this pairs so beautifully with the game's cover system. So they have this unique cover system, but it takes one of your hands to use, so how can you reload? Pushing your magazine against the wall to reload your gun is the perfect solution to allow players to use both systems at the same time. But guess what? This isn't just a really clever design. It's yet another way that you can engage with the wall. It's actually as if it's right there in front of you. You need to know if your arm is close enough to the wall if you're gonna use it to reload. So again, your brain starts to incorporate walls and their proximity into your proprioceptive model. You start to truly sense the space between your body and the wall. So both of these things, being able to use walls to pull yourself in and out of cover and being able to use walls to push a magazine into your gun makes walls feel more real because you physically interact with them, like right in front of you, within arm's reach. And here's the thing, when the world around you starts to feel more real, you start to feel more convinced that you're actually standing inside of it. That makes sense, right? That's embodiment. Again, virtual worlds are always immersive because they necessarily have our full attention, but embodiment goes beyond what we see. It's about what we feel. And when it comes to reaching out and touching the world, Synapse takes things to a whole new level with its incredible telekinesis system. But before we get to all that telekinetic goodness, give me just 60 seconds to tell you about a company dedicated to helping people design great VR content. Designing for VR comes with considerations you'd never find in traditional software. Human factors, like how tall someone is, how far they can reach, and where they're looking can't be validated in code. Trying to design for XR by starting with code leads to excessive iteration time as these unique considerations need to be tested, recoded, and retested. Shapes XR is a powerful spatial design tool specifically made to solve this problem by letting creatives design and iterate first before committing anything to code. By using Shapes XR as the starting point to prototype a mixed reality experience, German digital agency Antwerpis was able to reduce time spent on pre-production design by 75%. With powerful capabilities like real-time collaboration and a stage-based interaction system for mocking up an application's functionality, Shapes XR is the best place to start prototyping any XR application. And maybe the best part about Shapes XR, it's free. If you want to start prototyping today, you can find the URL in the video description below, or scan this QR code and you'll be taken straight to the download page in your MetaQuest app. Okay, I promised you telekinesis and here it is. Synapse might have lots of shooting, but your offhand has this awesome telekinetic power that lets you grab and manipulate entities in the world. Barrels add explosive fun to the mix, but the developers snuck in a really clever little detail. When holding the barrel, you need to hold the trigger only part way, because squeezing it all the way makes the barrel explode. This can be useful for blowing it up in an enemy's face, but it's also a really cool way to force the player to balance their aggression with intention. If you quickly grab a barrel without thinking of it in the middle of a fight, you'll squeeze the trigger too hard and make it explode. This happened to me all the time. But if you keep a cool head and don't squeeze the trigger too hard, you can use that barrel to blow people up so easily. Okay, but how does any of this telekinesis stuff relate to embodiment? Well, remember when I said that things you can physically interact with start to feel more real because your brain incorporates them into your proprioceptive model? The same holds true for things you control with telekinesis. Even though you're interacting with them at a distance, the fact that they respond to your natural motion instead of a thumbstick or a button press makes all the difference. When it comes to shooting, for instance, pulling a trigger to kill a distant bad guy is a very impersonal interaction. It's quick and you have little conscious control over the parameters of how the interaction actually happens. On the other hand, pun intended, controlling something with the movement of your own arm and hand, even at a distance, is so much more direct and personal Personal. It feels like having a superpower instead of just pointing at enemies and making them go poof. 
And another reason why telekinesis and synapse feels like a superpower is because the game uses PSVR 2's eye tracking to detect which object you want to grab. So there might be like three or four valid things in front of you, but you can pluck out the right one just by looking at it while you activate this power. In practice, it feels really natural, almost like the game is reading your mind. It kind of makes you feel like you really have this power. And to me, that's one of the coolest parts of this game. Okay, so what is the takeaway from all of this? Synapse has has several really smart design choices that enhance the game's feeling of embodiment. But let's say you're not making a cover shooter or a game with telekinetic powers. How do we simplify these lessons in a way that's more broadly applicable? To me, the clear pattern is that embodiment is driven primarily by two things. First, the more you need to move your body physically, rather than just with your thumbs, the more you end up feeling embodied. And second is that near field interactions specifically, meaning touching things within our reach are a powerful way to absorb the world into your brain's proprioceptive model. And again, that model is what's keeping track of where things are in space in relation to your body. So when we activate that model within our brain while playing, of course it's going to make us feel more embodied within that game world. And before we wrap up, I want to add a tiny addendum here. Those of you who have followed the XR design space closely are probably familiar with a concept called presence. And you've probably noticed that my definition of embodiment sounds just like presence, and you would be right, they're essentially the same thing. The reason that I lean into the term embodiment is because presence is a more common term and it overlaps a bit too much with immersion in the colloquial definitions. I find that people really struggle to differentiate them, which makes discussions like this one less clear. So I like the word embodiment because it's more distinct from immersion than presence, and it also specifically addresses the body itself, which is what this is all about. And here's the part where I say, if you want to see more of this kind of content, throw us a subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and leave us a comment. What game or app do you think is worth talking about in a future episode? And real quick before you go, viewers of this series are going to know what's coming now. We've got a little survey to get some feedback about this episode. We really want to make these as great as we can, and getting feedback on every episode really helps. So if you will take like two minutes out of your day to scan this QR code or find the URL in the description and throw us some feedback, it would be incredibly helpful. Helpful. Thank you.